Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. You don't have to be fabulously wealthy to be a comic book star, but it sure as hell can't hurt. Finish your job. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book millionaires and billionaires. Is it better to be feared or respected? And I say, is it too much to ask for both? For this list, we're looking at the best of the wealthiest characters in comic books. We'll be excluding heroes like Thor, whose wealth is mystical and thus can't really be quantified. Number 10, Wilson Fisk, Kingpin. This way, please. A self-made man if there ever was one. This notable villain acquired his wealth through street-level crime, murder, drugs, and extortion. His tenacity and complete lack of compassion earned him the title of Kingpin. We all knew that we would need to eliminate the Russians one day. They were too unpredictable. And this from a guy taking heads off with the car door. Fisk's troublesome childhood as a bullied and neglected youth led to him becoming the cynical crime lord he is today. They're taking statements from Blake and Hoffman. Our contacts in IAB will make it go away. Now his only purpose is to assume control over all of New York City, starting with Hell's Kitchen, using his wealth, notoriety, and power. Man cannot be both savior and oppressor, light and shadow. One has to be sacrificed for the other. Number nine, Charles Xavier, Professor X. My mother has never set foot in this kitchen in her life. And she certainly never made me a hot chocolate. Unless you count ordering the maid to do it. While this character was born into his wealth, Charles Xavier has most certainly used his family's money to help others, forming the first educational institute of its kind, a school for genetically gifted youngsters. This is yours. No, it's ours. Xavier's school not only educates young mutants, but also teaches them to control their abilities. It also doesn't hurt that the large estate features a number of extracurricular features including a hangar, a jet, and a holographic training and combat simulation room. Honestly, Charles, I don't know how you survived living in such hardship. Why does a school need all that stuff again? Oh yeah, those guys. The students are mostly runaways, frightened, alone, some with gifts so extreme that they've become a danger to themselves and those around them. Number eight, Richie Rich. Master Richie was born into a life of great wealth and privilege. And yet, he was assuredly his parents' most valued treasure. Ever meet that rich kid down the street whose parents bought him whatever they wanted? Yeah, well, Richie Rich is like that kid times a million. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. You're welcome, Richie, anytime. His family's wealth seems to have no end, as there is quite possibly nothing that the 10 year old tycoon doesn't own. However, it's important to note that Richie doesn't take his silver spoon for granted, as he is shown giving away large sums to various charities and the less fortunate, as well as making friends with other children, regardless of their social class. Hey, I got an idea. Want to try the kidapult? The kidapult? <laughs> Number 7. Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. Back to formula. Unlike most supervillains, Norman started off as an honest, hard-working entrepreneur. Oscorp Industries has surpassed Quest Aerospace as the principal supplier to the United States military. Filled with a desire for financial success, Norman was able to suppress the psychological trauma done to him by his father. A father who, by the way, lost control of his own company and fell into a downward spiral of depression and anger. Norman dedicated his time to being better than his father, and succeeded in regaining control of Oscorp. You know how much I sacrificed? Norman would later come across a secret serum that would grant him superhuman abilities and superhuman insanity. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Back to formula. Number six, T'Challa, the Black Panther. I am T'Challa, the Prince of Wakanda. Being the leader of your own country may have its affluent perks, but having said country be the home of the rarest metal in the entire world makes you an instant tycoon. That's the rarest metal on earth. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. T'Challa's control of vibranium fuels the economy of Wakanda, as well as keeps T'Challa in business with some of the most powerful and richest figures in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> Sound. That's 
vibranium. With its inaccessibility and high demand, T'Challa exercises extreme control over the precious mineral and prices it in the billions. Vibranium has the potential to change the world. I agree. Number five, Lex Luthor. When I was six years old, my father said to me, Get out. <laughs> so, what is a man to do with a booming corporation and all the money in the world? Set out to kill the most powerful being on Earth, of course. Lex Luthor's hatred for the Man of Steel runs as deep as his pockets. Uh, I told you. It's kryptonite, Superman. Little souvenir for the old hometown. With being the head of LexCorp, there's nothing within the city of Metropolis, or possibly within the DC universe, that Lex doesn't have a hand in. Thanks to the generous help of the United States government, we are about to be involved in the greatest real estate swindle of all time. From space technology to super advanced robots and beyond, LexCorp does literally everything, and even funds Lex's campaign to become the president of the United States. Lex Luthor's attempt to win the presidency the old-fashioned way by buying it seems to be picking up steam. Number four, Adrian Veidt, Ozymandias. You want to know my past? Hmm? Okay. Happily. It's a matter of public record that by 17, both my parents were dead, leaving me alone. Adrian Veidt is the son of a wealthy German immigrant. But rather than simply inheriting his parents' wealth, Veidt donated every penny his father left him and started again from scratch. Embarking on a vision quest, Veidt consumed a big ball of hashish and decided to become a superhero. Mr. Veidt. To date, you're one of only two Watchmen ever to reveal their true identity to the world, first being Hollis Mason. And you've certainly profited greatly by it. Turning his success as a superhero into a line of consumer products, Byte founded Byte Enterprises and soon surpassed his father's success. Privately, I'm worth more than all of your corporations combined. I can buy and sell you three times over, which is something you should factor into your decision should you choose to make our disagreement public. Number three, Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom. Typical of Victor Von Doom to build a 30-foot statue of himself. This maniacal genius is also the dictator of the small European country of Latveria. While this position grants the supervillain the country's assets and income, Doom is, surprisingly, not a terrible leader. Victor, please. Call me Doom. Doom has made the country secure, as his reputation alone is enough to ward off neighboring invaders, and his zero-tolerance policy for super-powered citizens makes the country one of the safest places to live in the Marvel Universe. That's my job, to stay a step ahead, to know what other men don't. Doom has modernized the country's industry, which produces some of the finest Doom bots Europe has to offer. <laughs> Number two, Bruce Wayne, Batman. While wealth alone isn't enough to make an otherwise ordinary man a superhero, Batman proved that money can be converted into superhero success. Actually, he took the car. He boosted the Jag? Not the Jaguar. The other car. We just love the guy for all those cool gadgets, vehicles, and tech. Inheriting a billion dollar company as a mere boy, Bruce has used his assets to help craft himself into one of the most recognizable symbols of justice. Where were the other drugs going? Masked crime fighter by night, playboy billionaire by day, no one does billionaire superhero better than Batman. Eh, almost no one. All you <laughs> two-faced friends, you sycophantic suck-ups who smile through your teeth at me, please leave me in peace. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Queen was a regular tabloid presence and a fixture of the Starling City club scene. Shortly before his disappearance, he was acquitted of assault charges stemming from a highly publicized drunken altercation with paparazzi. Are you Adler? I'm Warren Worthington. A third. Who are you? Number one, Tony Stark, Iron Man. I feel like you're driving me to court martial. This is crazy. What did I do? Okay, put down the pitchforks. We aren't arguing that Iron Man is a better superhero than Batman. But billionaire Tony Stark centrally flaunts his wealth a lot more than Mr. Wayne. Come on! Hi, Bob. Hey. You should just stay to the point. The genius inventor's celebrated intellect has allowed Stark Industries to become a global powerhouse in weapons technology, staying decades ahead of the competition. Is that Justin Hammer? Right leg up. How did Hammer get hey. in the game? Justin, you're on TV. Right Focus up. Okay. However, the genius's flagship invention, the arc reactor, is a compact generator that can provide a vast amount of cheap energy. 
Stark Tower is about to become a beacon of self-sustaining clean energy. The arc reactor powers all of Stark's recent ventures, as well as the creme de la creme of superhero gadgets, the Iron Man's suits. Do you agree with our list? Well, like, great. Looks like it's going to be an early Christmas. Which comic book character do you think had the deepest pockets? Victor, you always thought you were a god. For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We'll see you soon on my mark. Three, two, one.